Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are adding another video in the particle tracing module. A host of videos have already been uploaded in this particular playlist and I request you to watch those videos because it may help you developing the concept of particle tracing. Today's topic of discussion is whether we can introduce an irregular shaped particle in a PT of COMSOL. In general, I have seen the particles which we take in COMSOL FPT, they are basically spherical in nature and that option is a default option in COMSOL. I have not researched about the options, I mean whether an irregular shaped particle option is available or not, but we can follow an indirect methodology to introduce irregular shaped particle and that I will be talking about today. In order to do that, I have taken a simple particle tracing physics and in this particle tracing physics, I have taken a solution space like this, a rectangular solution space, wherein we are introducing gravity force which is acting downward in the z direction and the drag force which is coming due to the motion of the particle when the particle moves, it experiences a drag force and we are releasing the particle from here. So the concept is the particles are being released from the top. So once we introduce the particles, it will experience the gravity force and it will gradually fall down. And it will take some time to fall down and during the motion, it will experience a drag force. Now the drag force we have taken as a default option if you just right click on the particle tracing physics, you'll be having multiple force options and among those options, you can see there is an option of drag force which we have taken. In the drag force again, you will have multiple option of choosing the laws. That means which law govern your drag force. And we have actually taken the strokes drag and you have the options of multiple others. You can have a look into those options and you can study about that. But for today's discussion, it is Stokes drag and you can see uh, the equation as well. If I go to the equation, so this is what the equation for Stokes drag is. Now what I want to tell you is what changes if your shape change? It basically the drag force. So if you have an irregular shaped particle, the gravity will not change because the mass of the irregular shaped or the spherical shaped both may be same. So what I want to tell you is the gravity does not depend on the shape. It only depends on the mass of the particle. Now if you have the drag force, it will actually function of that shape. So if we just assume that instead of spherical shaped particle, we have say a square shaped particle and if we know the drag coefficients, then what we can do is we can introduce that drag coefficient. We can modify this drag force and that will actually cause a kind of simulations with irregular shaped particle. Although you will be looking the particles as sphere, but as we have logically changed the drag force, we can assume that those spheres now representing an irregular shape, say uh, the square. So I will be just changing this particular option. So you can see uh, in the drag force, uh, it, it looks like this. So we have the option of, uh, so the tau p is coming here. So if you just put the tau p in this force option, we'll be seeing the drag force is proportional to this viscosity. So if we just uh, change the viscosity, keeping the density as 1000 and now if we multiply by a factor to the viscosity, suppose original viscosity is 0 0.001. Now from the drag force coefficient, some factor say 1.2 is coming. So we are multiplying it by 1.2. So the entire drag force has been modified by 1.2 times. Similarly, based on the drag coefficient, you can actually choose this particular drag force or you also can define your drag force from the 
customized for a force option so if you see here there is an option of force if you just take that option and define the parameters for the drag force and wherein you can introduce different drag coefficients so this way you can modify the drag force but in my simulation i have modify, modified it by changing the viscosity or multiplying by a factor to the viscosity so let me just run the simulation i hope i can show you some effect so initially we are running it so yeah it, it is done okay uh, now what we do is we change this factor to a very high value say 1.6 so let me run the simulation once again with 1.6 so the forces are changing and as the forces changing you can see with 1.6 at 6 seconds the particles are coming up to this now if I multiply it by another factor say I multiply it by 2 maybe this is not a logical value but I am just introducing the concept so I run the simulation once again so you can see the particles are now here if we now increase it further say just to see the visual I mean just to visualize the change if we just make it 4 and run the simulation once again you can see it is coming up to this only in all the cases we have run the simulation for 6 seconds so with the drag force so the drag force is basically acting opposite to the gravity as we are changing the drag coefficient so the resistive force is increasing and that is why uh, at the same time it is falling different it is covering different distances as the drag force is increasing that means the resistance is increasing and that is why the particles are here so at 6 second for 4 times drag force it is here if I just show you once again if I now remove this factor so it will fall more because the drag force will reduce friction will reduce so you can see it has actually fallen down the bottom so this way you can actually change your drag force and that will cause you I mean uh, if you know particular constant value for your shape for a particular shape you can put that you can customize the drag force and introduce the concept of irregular shape now you may ask how exactly we need to plot it then because ultimately in the simulation we can see spherical particles only but for that also you have some option so what you can do suppose I need to plot irregular shape at a particular time 2.8 so if you go to particle trajectory and then go here right click there you can see add data to export if you export this particular file it will give you the coordinates of all the particles here now you can use those coordinates and you can use another software to put a particular shape at particles at those coordinate points that means you can modify your post processing and you can actually show that shaped particle by so I mean by plotting in some other software so this way you can actually solve for irregular shaped particle with an indirect methodology I hope this video was helpful if so kindly share our videos and do subscribe to our channel